Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris. We are currently involved in three wars, um, two of which are us trying to conquer a new district for the Republic, and one of which is our allies' uh, civil war that we have not been able to help them in due to uh, resources being tight. Uh, we only have so many ships and we need them at the front in our own war. Um, but things are going pretty well in this war. Um, if we look, we can see that we have um, successfully occupied almost all of this territory that we're hoping to claim for ourselves. Um, looks like uh, in the north, the Mythfell Order have not kind of made any incursions into our territory other than like, I think they, they tried moving a fleet into Sismok once, but otherwise our recovered assets just sitting here defending this border. And what I actually noticed when loading in this game is they're no longer the Mythfell Order, they're the Mythfell Obliterators. Looks like they've become purifiers. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. I know what our next matter of business is going to be once we get this sorted out. It's going to be dealing with our obnoxious purifying neighbors. Um, I don't know how that happened. I think they started the game like xenophobic and spiritualist, and now they're fanatic xenophobic and militarist. So I don't know what happened. They really went down mm -hmm. a slippery slope. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and see to a couple of our planets. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let any extra unemployed people on Favaria just migrate to other worlds. I don't really want to upgrade anything until we have a better economy of um, volatile moats, exotic gases, and rare crystals going. Um, so until we have that, I'm just going to not upgrade this because if you see if I upgrade the gene clinics, for example, it costs exotic gases. If I upgrade research complexes, exotic gases. Administrative con complex, it uh, costs crystals. So I don't want to spend that, those resources just yet. Um, anyways, as far as our other worlds are going, um, generator world, we're, we've reached the max number of districts. Um, so I think this is all this world's going to be as well. It's just going to sit as it is. Interesting. Do we need this to be an industrial district? I'd rather replace this industrial district with something useful, like a agricultural district. We have specific planets dedicated to industry, so I don't want any industry on planets that it's not needed. Um, speaking of industrial planets, here's one. Um, if I upgrade this, yeah, this is going to cost civilian industries. It's going to cost us rare crystals. So again, I don't want to avoid that upgrade. But our industrial planet has three available jobs, five available housing. Let's go ahead and just build another industrial district there. Um, New Favaria, our tech world, 22 housing and three available jobs. Well, it's a tech world, so I know what those jobs are going to be. We should probably build... Psycore on this planet. We are building that on all of our planets, but then let's just build another research lab. Gruner Prime is a mining world. We have four available housing and one unemployment. Let's build a Psycore and let's build a couple mining districts. Yeah, that'll be good. Okay. Um, our Agri world. Again, we're full up on districts. This is all this world is ever going to be. We can probably build, replace one of these research labs. Yeah, I say we replace one of these research labs with hydroponics form or food processing facilities. Yeah, food processing facilities. This is going to give us food from farmers plus one and farmer jobs plus one. Um, I think there was also like a bioreactor that we were, that we researched. I don't see that option here. Hydroponic farms just gives us farmer jobs. We don't need that. Yeah, we don't need that. But we can get food processing facilities. For sure. All right. Um, does our generator world already have an energy grid? Yes, it does. Okay. Um, Lava core is another tech world. And on this tech world, we're not doing much. We have zero jobs. We could probably get some more tech related jobs. Let's build a couple research labs and let's build a Psycore. 
Uh, we can't build that. We need a planetary administration first. Okay, let's just build a couple research labs. Open up a new couple new jobs here. Looks like we're full up on food. So... Oh, and now we're full up on energy too. So let's buy a whole bunch of alloys. And then we can sell some more food. We can probably sell some consumer goods too. Wow, we have a lot of resources. Okay, um, and yeah, that, that should be us sorted out. So let's go ahead and unpause the game. Looks like um, Mythfell Order is leaving us alone. I'm almost tempted to take this uh, MSI warship over here at this way. 13,000? Alvanian Trade Commission. It's almost 14,000. How does that compare? What is this fleet? 18,000? Yikes. Okay. I think we can take them. I don't think it's going to be pretty, but I think we can do it. This fleet, of course, is Hostile coming station. to Engaged. us in 280 days. Okay, that fleet is backing down. Good. All right. So, I am going to go ahead and get our transport fleet moved over here. I think we're going to make an incursion into this territory so we can end this war more quickly. Our status quo acceptance is still minus 60, so it might help pushing into this territory a little bit. Encountering Eurydice. We have made first contact with mysterious aliens in the Eurydice system. We have now called them the P-Menace. Space-born life form encountered. All right. We'll assign an envoy. Where's the Eurydice system? Looks like mining drones? Okay. And crystal shards. Crystalline shards. Okay. I can't remember which of those we've already um, discovered, so we're going to be discovering one of those. Um, let's go ahead and go to our fleet management. And if we look at our fleet size, we have a bunch of increased fleet, possible fleet size. So let's go ahead and let's increase that. So instead of having two carriers and five brawlers, let's have three carriers, seven brawlers. Let's bump up to 15 destroyers and maybe 30 corvettes. We'll do the same for our other star fleet. Seven, 15, 30, and um, we can go ahead and give a reinforced fleet Hostile command. Station engaged. Just to buff up our fleets, because I think there is a sizable force waiting in the Corolla system that we need to deal with. And we're waiting for this star fleet to come back in 140 days and maybe rendez rendezvous with our other star fleet. Um, let's go ahead and give this star fleet a repair order. And I'm almost tempted to upgrade the fleet as well. But upgrading it's going to take it all the way down here, and I don't know if we necessarily want to do Research that. Complete. Living crystals? The irregularity we had designated in the P menace appears to be some sort of crystalline material. Curiously, it seems to be able to propel itself across the void and protect itself when necessary, indicating that it may be alive. Our researchers are working hard to find out more. Well, good for you, researchers. Keep it up. Gene modification points plus one. Okay, maybe when this war is over, we can look into modifying our um, modifying our species a little bit. For fifty thousand, we can get less claim influence costs and less war exhaustion gain. That's not bad. Hmm. We can get more blockers to clear edicts level, uh, base intel level. Hmm. Let's see. Let's get the Ancient Defensive Web Slinger. Let's see what this does. 30 months. Alright. Are we all repaired? 
we're all repaired, let's push into this system. And let's start conquering some of these systems and we can take this planet as well. Hopefully that drives up their war acceptance. Minus 56. We've still got a little while to go. Might involve just some waiting waiting around, you know. Um, how are we doing with the war with Panaxala Prima? Minus 11. Okay, so here's our star ship, our star fleet. Let's go ahead and give it the order to um, upgrade. Then reinforce. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and bring it over there. All right, the crystals. Our researchers have finished investigating the reports of extraordinary free-floating free -floating crystal-like objects observed in the Favarian Republic system. Their findings are startling. The ship-sized objects and their slightly smaller but equally crystal-like satellites at first appeared inert, but sudden shifts in their orientation relative to our ships and new energy signatures emerging from within the prisms indicate that they should be regarded as hazardous and approached with extreme caution. Wow. That is absolutely fascinating. An Let's alien study that. Has established communications. Looks like we have an option commune with the ineffable. The conclave of telepaths on Favaria are preparing a great communication to reach out to an entity that dwells in the shroud. 23 months? Let's figure out what that's all about. Um, another thing. When we win this war with the coalition of Panic Sala Prima, I'm going to want to do two things. I'm gonna wanna I'm gonna wanna survey these three systems real quickly and hopefully claim them for ourselves with our construction ship. So I'm gonna move a science ship and a construction ship over there for anticipating the end of the war. Alright. Things are off to a great start. Peace offer. Dar Hash Blessed Confederation. Molinox Centralized. Okay, we don't we don't care about that. That's not a conflict we are, have any stake in whatsoever. How are they doing against the civil war here? Looks like they're doing decent. I don't know where they withdrew their fleet to. Special project complete. Crystalline entities are unbreakable. The crystalline entities, the name itself, a compromise between rival factions of xenobiologists and xenogeologists on Favaria, are probably alive. An earlier and perhaps more descriptive name for them was silicate animate matter, and they have little in common with biological life. They are solitary beings, each individual crystal sovereign, rarely seen with more than a sentinel and a smaller cohort entity. Aside from the cohort and sentinel clearly being subservient to the sovereign of the group, the subtle nuances of the crystalline entity's socio-hierarchical relationships are lost on us. The entities do not seem to mate, and we have yet to observe any crystals that are recognizably older or younger than others. Contrary to an earlier hypothesis, the shifts in hue between individual crystalline entities seems to be related not to their age, but to their latent internal charge, which can be violently unleashed, and it appears as though sporadic fluctuations in this charge alter refractive properties of the crystal. Wow, it's a lot of information about rocks that appear to be alive in space. Sounds potentially useful. Energy credits from jobs plus 5%. Okay. How's this uh, fleet doing in far, as far as its upgrades are going? What's in the shipyard queue? Hostile station engaged. Looks like there's a lot of stuff in the queue before it will start upgrading. That's fine. There's going to be a lot of waiting around for the rest of this war. Alright. Let's go ahead and let's move in our transport fleet so we can hopefully um, research complete occupy this planet in the Gauzor system. All right, we can get a new perk. This will give us bombardment damage plus 20% and ship fire rate plus 10%. That's really good. Ship upkeep minus 10% naval capacity plus 20%. It's also really good, but we're not in need of naval capacity right now. Ship build speed plus 25%, also good, but not necessarily right now. Let's get overwhelming force. Yes. All right. 
We have a new technology, chemical plants. We can get wormhole travel. We don't have any wormholes to travel through. We can get energy nexus. That's the level two energy building, but we're not really building it because it costs volatile gases or exotic gases, which we don't have. Let's get the plasma thrower finally. Um, Hostile that's been station. sitting in our Engaged. options. Peace offer. The coalition of panic sala prima. Okay, I do want to end this war, but I don't want to end it right now. I want to see if I can time these wars so we're kind of ending them at the same time. It's going to make it a lot easier for us to kind of solidify our claims around here. I don't want to end the wars at two different times, if, if that makes any sense at all. I hope it does. So we're going to decline their peace offer, and we're going to end the war when we're ready to end the war. Looks like the Oban Wildlings are in the system. I wonder who they're going to raid. Ships Looks like they're going upgraded. down this way. Probably that way. Okay. We've got an insult from the Chosen. Wanton abuse like this cannot be overlooked. Our relationship with the Chosen has been has declined. Alright. Well. That's fine. They're going to insult us. That's fine. They're fanatic purifiers. Hostile on the other side of the engaged. galaxy. We don't really care what they think. We don't care about their opinion. We have made first contact with mysterious aliens in the Karagos system. For now, we have coded them the Yoda Menace. Please tell me, please tell me they're like Yoda. No, it's just the space amoeba. Okay, interesting. Let's research the space amoeba. If I recall correctly, um, studying the space amoeba gives us a bonus 5% evasion to like all of our ships, which is super good. Okay. Um, hold up. If I pause this, do I have positive war acceptance for both of these wars? I do. Let me just make sure I have all the claims I want before we declare peace. Do I have Tyrim? Yes, that is a border system. Do I have Paya? Yes, I have this, I have this. Do I have Xeris? Yes. I think those are all the systems we absolutely need. Okay, let's do this. Settle status quo. Settle status quo. Let's withdraw our military. Let's hire on a new scientist. Hopefully someone with survey skills. Survey speed plus 10%. Okay, let's get this scientist in. And archaeology archaeology skills. Didn't we get a new like archaeological site? Dig site sometime in the last episode? We did. It's in the Huawei system. Um well let's get archaeologist level two then. And we can go ahead and explore that after we're done surveying these uh, three systems. Our construction ship is also on the way. Okay. They have received our peace offers. And it looks like this fleet can go and help out our allies down south. Hostile fleet engaged. The end of the commonality of Fear Mithros and the end of uh, Panix Alla Prima. We've done it. We've done it, guys. This is all ours for the taking now. Okay. Um, so, a couple things. We're going to want to claim these systems. Then we're going to want to claim these systems. One, two, three. Once that's all connected, we can create a vassal empire here. Um, actually, I think let's go ahead and let's do that right now. So let's go out to Panixala. Um, looks like there's already some Valdar living there. Um, what was I want to do? Yeah, let's create a new sector. Um, let's go into our sector management. So if we go to Panic Sala Prima, we go to Edit Sector, 
Let's remove the Unimar system from the sector. Um, auto expand sector, let's uncheck that. Okay, fantastic. So, let's go to this sector now and let's see if I can release it as a vassal. I must be at peace to release vassals. Okay, so we need to wrap up this war down south then. Okay, that's fine. We'll finish this war in no time. Okay, let's do it. We can probably move our army in too. Um, army down south as well, that'll help. Um, this fleet can go repair at Fawei. Oh wow. All these planets have all these issues. Do we want to sort out these issues right now? Or do we want to just let the newly created vassal deal with those issues? I don't really want to sort this all out right now. I guess I have the resources to spend and I don't want to set my, my new vassals up to fail. So let's buy a bunch of minerals. Let's buy like say 10,000. And let's sort out these planets real quick if we can. Okay. Horticulture. A lot of unemployment here. A lot of like ruined buildings. Let's repair all of the buildings we ruined. I think that's a good good policy. Insufficient building slots on this planet. Interesting. Okay. Let's build a new city district here then to get a new building slot. Golden flower. Um, four unemployment on this planet. This is a forge world? Hmm. Okay, well then let's build some industrial districts there. This is a tech world. Okay. And let's build some city districts. And this is a generator world. Can we repair it? No. We need to build some more generator districts, maybe a new city district. Maybe two generator districts. Um, second thing we can do is we can create another sector um, here in the frontier. Uh, it's not worth it. Um, but we can put a governor into this sector. So let's go to our sector management, planets and sectors, Panixella Prima, and let's hire on a governor to govern it. Um, someone with stability, hopefully. Hmm. This, this guy will probably be fine. No, it's a scientist. We want a we want a governor level person. Let's actually use one of our own governors, okay? This is our master crafter, reducing crime. Sure. It's gonna be our gift, okay? To this new spaceborne life form encountered. Okay, so let's survey, 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 and we'll get our construction ship out here ready to build a starbase. The Yoda Menace. Alright, keep it up. Let's end this war quickly. Rising unemployment on horticulture. Increased benefits? Sure. You know what we need to build on all these new planets? Psycores will establish, will boost unity, decrease crime, and provide stability. That's all really good. Let's build a Psycore on all these planets. Can we build a Psycore? No, but we can build then precinct houses. We need to build precinct houses on all the planets if we can. Okay. Looks like 
We can't do that on every single planet. The Yoda Menace. Alright, there's space amoebas. The entities encountered by our fleet some time ago are new, horrifying lifeforms, quickly nicknamed space amoebas after following an analyst's gross misreading of initial sensor output. The creature is in fact larger than the average Valdari corvette. There would be little harm in putting these monstrosities out of their misery, for science or some equivalent. Fascinating. An alien empire has established communications. Let's go ahead and let's research this. Two months. Okay. Alright, here we come to the rescue. Moving our, our fleet in. Let's go here. Let's go here. Special project. The complete. shroud. As we reach out for the presence, a sense of great hunger. Oh, we sense a great hunger. The presence wastes no time, nor words. It is the eater of worlds, and it wishes to devour us. What? I don't want to get eaten. Only some of us, though. No more than we can spare. In exchange, it will grant us great powers. It will teach us its hunger, its rage. It will shape them into psionic weapons that can overcome any foe. If we only let it feed on us. It sounds impatient to begin. There's no way, right? There will be a price to pay with the Eater of Worlds? I don't want to do that. I don't want to get my world eaten. Exit the shroud. Go away. I swear, that price to pay? For a little bit of extra, like, ship damage? Getting your world eaten? Hell no. Special project complete. Space Amoebas forever. The Space Amoebas, their name has stuck as the pronunciation of proper Xeno taxonomic denominator is too unwieldy for the average Valdar, are solitary animals when left to their own devices. All but the youngest specimens are accompanied by quasi-independent flagella, organisms spawned by the amoeba and programmed through liquid RNA-faced secretions due to the bidding of the host. These flagella are capable of manipulating and even attacking objects in an impressive yet restricted range around the host, periodically return returning to lodge inside the host amoeba's body for reprogramming. There are potential military applications to be found on the regenerative properties of the amoeba's thick hide or in the flagella's graceful patterns of movement. Wow. The flagella are fascinating. Evasion plus 5%. Great bonus. All right. System survey complete. Let's end this war real quick. Artillery focus. This is commanding the Riven Starfleet. Is the Riven Starfleet this one? No. Okay. So we can either get Scout, which gives us sublight speed plus 15%, time spent missing in action minus 15%. Archaeotech focus. For an 87 year old, we don't have any Archaeotech on our fleets yet, and this person's gonna die soon. Let's give him artillery focus. Sure. Leviathan defeated. Molinarch's centralized commonalities has vanquished an ancient threat in the distant stereol system. Great. Research complete. All right, what have we finished researching? Plasma thrower. Cool. Let's actually see what this plasma thrower does. We can get the level two version of it. Let's see. It does almost no shield damage, but it has a fantastic armor bonus plus one hundred percent. Accuracy eighty percent, tracking forty percent. This would actually be really good against corvettes. You know, I think we're gonna get this. Paired with an auto cannon, which is also really good for corvettes, and that's good against shields, but terrible against armor. I think these two make a really powerful combination. Let's get it. All right. Fantastic. Once we've sorted out, um, once we sorted we'll out this whole mess up here, engaged. I think our next step is going to be updating our military. Our military is a little out of date right now. 
um, we should look again and see what our ship designs are. Maybe see about building some battleships. Some battleships might be nice. Um, this is our army commander. We can either get on winning ground combat as an attacker, gain intel on the empire, or we can just get army health plus 15%. Army health plus 15%. For sure. Okay. Looks like here is where they have their very small and tiny pathetic fleet. Complete. All right. They stand no chance. Hold on. I want to watch this battle. Not because it's going to be an epic and intense and long battle, but because I think it's going to be kind of comical. Wow, look at our impressive fleet. Hostile fleet engaged. Oh, there's the Alpha Strike. Jeez. I don't think they even took a chance. Yep. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay. Let's move into the Asgard system. Yep. Hello. Let's move into the Asgard system and let's move into the Hajim system. All right. Fantastic. Horticultured. Um, great. Well, if this is a agricultural world, it should probably get civilian industries on it. I know this isn't going to be our world soon, but I still want to see, see to it, hopefully, in the hopes that, um, we can get gene clinics, we can get precinct houses here. Um, so that when we release it as a vassal, it doesn't just fall into chaos, like, straight away. Okay. Looks like we've built there. We're gonna want to get our science ships next to survey this system. Then survey the singularity, then survey this system, then survey this system. Yeah. Then we're gonna have it survey here. Hostile station engaged. Here. 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 And here. A lot of surveying to do. Alright. We're in Asgard. Again, I don't think they stand a single chance. All those missiles are doing good work. We can breach into the Shroud again. I think we need to take a little break from the Shroud. That never seems to end up well for us. Damage versus star bases plus 20%? Sure. Construction complete. Alright, construction complete. 15 out of 10 star base capacity. That's because we just annexed all this new territory. Engaged. System survey complete. Okay. Do we need to get an army into this planet? What is their defense like? 411? All right. Let's see, what is the defense on this planet? 154, the defense on this planet is a lot more. 
So let's go ahead and let's start bombarding here. This defense transport fleet one. I don't know if they're gonna have enough. We won't pay. Bring it on. Spaceport the deck collectors are back again. Man, when will they learn to just leave us alone? Let's get our recovered asset down here. You know, I don't actually think we're gonna need our recovered asset. I think our starbase can handle this. Oh my gosh, yeah. Big time. Not today. Okay, fantastic. Let's build a starbase here. Hopefully our science ship will move quickly. Democratic ruler election. Our current commissary general is going to win a re-election. That's great. Um, okay. This episode is wrapping up. And when it does... When it does, it's really just going to come down to um, just sorting out our empire here. Um, I think next episode we're going Pursuit to need to complete. get this set up and released as a vassal. And I think we're going to need to see, I think we need more governors at home. I think we've been kind of lazy about like letting our leaders die and get replaced. And we haven't really been hiring in new fresh people in a long time so we're gonna have to see that um we've unlocked ancient defensive web slingers for interesting new pd we'll have to see how that works out um we can increase our command limit even more we can increase our naval capacity even more i vote command limit yeah um but yeah let's end the episode here thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed watching us uh, handle this war um, and I will see you guys all next time.